Well, it's a go-to recipe for any occasion, but if that main ingredient isn't right, it could be a disaster. We're making authentic guacamole here in our CI kitchen. We have U of I student chef Greg Chavez with us. Greg, thanks for coming hanging out with us. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, so you're a um, hospitality management major. Yeah, I am here, well, at the, here at the University of Illinois. Okay, so why did you want to go into that field? Um, honestly, it just seemed like a really cool major. Still is a really cool major. It's really <laughs> involved, hands-on. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that we all have to do before we graduate, and one of those things is Spice Box, and we work at Bevier Cafe or at the University of Illinois. Right. Well, we've had lots of guest chefs come on who have, yeah. like, tested out some of their recipes on us for their big Spice Box meal. And this isn't going to be something at your Spice Box meal, but it's kind of inspired by your meal. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I learned how to make guacamole through, um, well, just because my parents taught me how to make guacamole, and then also I've been working at Chipotle for the last five years. Ooh. Yeah, so Are we getting a secret ingredient <laughs> recipe here? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Not so secret anymore because they released it online. Oh, okay. But you didn't very have to similar. Tell me that. I was very getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> very similar. Okay, so how do we get started? So the first thing that we're going to do is dice up a little av avocado. All right, so usually the recipe calls for two large, but we're going to go with yeah, three, so three we're small. smaller ones. Yeah, yeah. Any tips and tricks on slicing and dicing an avocado? Yeah, so the first thing to pick out a good avocado, you want it to be soft but firm. And I know that's kind of oxymoron, yeah. but just like think about like how you touch your hand, like uh -huh. the palm of your hand, you want it still to give a little push back. That's when you know it's ripe, Okay. when it's kind of soft. And when you cut it, just cut down the middle. you got to cut carefully because there's a seed in the middle. Okay. And then you just open it up. You can see that seed. Right. And it should come right off. Throw it in the trash. Okay. And then to mash it up a little easier, you could just dice it up a little bit while it's still in the shell. There you go. All right. And then just scoop it out into yeah. the bowl. Yeah. Just scoop it out into the bowl. If you like. Okay. Yeah. Know, I'll do that while you dice the next fork, one here. Fork, spoon. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that makes it pop out really yeah. nice. Okay. And so if it isn't ripe, if you don't have ripe avocados. You pretty much screwed on this recipe. Mm, yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to mash up really hard avocados. They can be as hard as rock when you when they're not ripe. And I'm gonna guess that affects the taste too that we're going for. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want you don't want to eat hard avocados. <laughs> so, what is the theme of your spice box meal? My theme is going to be a Mexican Korean fusion kind of food. These are all recipes right. that I made up. Uh, all recipes are also my guest chef, uh, Luis Parada. He is one of the managers over at Chipotle, and he also works at CoFusion as a oh, chef. Oh, nice. Yeah, so he's got really lucky with, uh, with, uh, with a chef who works both in a Mexican restaurant and a Korean restaurant. Right, okay, Mexican-Korean. I yeah. guess I never really thought of yeah. using those together. No, me neither. I didn't even think about it until I was in California, and then I saw a bunch of... Uh, Korean barbecue food trucks, and they were really popular. They always had a bunch of lines out, and I was like, that's super interesting. How I they need to jump on this <laughs> yeah. right now. Okay, so yeah. we've got our avocado going in mm -hmm. here. What else goes in? Uh, two teaspoons of lime juice. I already have it portioned out okay. for you. So you undump it? Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then you want to pour the lime juice on before you start mashing, and that way it helps it get more smoother, kind of smoother texture. Oh, all and right. It makes it a little bit easier. Got it. Mm -hmm. Next up. And then we are going to cut up two tablespoons of cilantro. Do you need to take those stems off, or is it okay to leave those yeah, on? That's, that's really up to you. You, you should, if you want a more, yeah. But that's... If you want a more what, what were you going to say? Um, just like a, a better, a more cilantro taste, because oh. like, there's not much flavor in the stems. Okay. But it doesn't completely matter. It's still cilantro. All right. Yeah. And just got make sure it's also, if it's not washed, it should be already, you know, washed. Usually it comes washed already, though. Okay. So just chop that up real quick. So the sprinkler systems there in the produce department really clean it off fine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Wow, you got some mad chopping skills there, Greg. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's if Chipotle. That's what the U of I, oh, Chipotle. Chipotle and then U of I, too. I <laughs> used a lot, I've spent a lot of time cooking at in the Bevier Cafe. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, so you've got that going. Can I pour in some onion while you're chopping? Yeah, you can pour that in, and that How is, much is this? a quarter cup. Of red purple onion, okay. Mm -hmm. Got okay. it. And then optional also. Ooh, a little heat. Yeah. The recipe calls for half a jalapeno. This one's a little big, but so we don't have to add all of it. We could do a quarter, but 
Do you cut the seeds out? I, that's you up to you. In. I leave them in. You could Ooh. leave them in. Okay. So we're going to toss all this together, yeah. mash it all up. And you really want to dice real fine the... Uh, the jalapeno because then if you have really big chunks you're gonna get oh, know, yeah. that's when you you know really taste the the spiciness and if you want it to blend in more just don't just cut it really really fine mm, okay there you go just, just put a quarter in should be good okay we're gonna mash this up and then um, we'll have the big reveal coming up in just a little bit okay okay so you stick around and in the meantime if you need any information about Greg's meal at the spice box coming up on Wednesday head to stayliving.tv and we'll have all of that information um, posted for you there so stay tuned for the big guacamole reveal